you know, probing, checking of level transmitter and switch. For the first step, we tried pressing the reset switch, hoping it might clear the fault, but it didn't. So we headed to the field instruments to check their condition. This is the A7C2 low water level switch. And behind it, the A10 water level transmitter. First, we check the A7C switch. Resistance across terminal X6 1 to 2 reads, 4.2 ohms. That's good. It confirms the normally closed contact is intact. Resistance across X6 3 to 4 is 00 mega ohms. Also good, this side is normally open. Voltage from X6-1 to ground is around 115 volts AC. X6-2 to ground is also around 115 volts. Since the contact between 1 and 2 is closed, both terminals have nearly the same potential to ground. The switch is fine now that we have normal water level inside the boiler. Next, we check the A10 level transmitter. Supply voltage reads 19.21 volts DC. Voltage is present. The nameplate input voltage rating is 24 volts. Let's now probe its process signal current in milliamps. The multimeter should be connected in series between the power source and the transmitter's positive terminal. We removed the positive wire from the terminal and inserted the probes accordingly.
there was some issue with the Blackbird connection. So we added an alligator clip to stabilize the compound. The current is 12.86 milliamps DC. That's about 50% of the level voltage. 